Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hi. And today we're doing a video on the Dune Crawler, um, which is an Adeptus Mechanicus tank. Mm. Um, also known as the Onaga uh, Dune Crawler. Uh, an Onaga is a catapult, basically. It's, it's a mostly mobile cat. Uh, no, 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 those were on wheels, weren't they? So, no, a, a relatively mobile catapult. Um, which would fire rocks or bricks or anything that the person wanted to. Often severed heads and pieces oh, of pieces of uh, lovely. yes, also, also pieces oh. of of horse. Oh. <laughs> uh, quite interesting weapon. I mean, I suppose they're resourceful, but still, it's kind of disturbing. Yeah, I think the severed head thing's more useful because it terrifies your enemy and it also causes plague. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, we have the Onika Doom Crawler, um, which is a the nearest thing you get to a tank that the Mechanicus do. Now, there is another type of vehicle which is a hovercraft type thing, which is a troop carrier, mm -hmm. and I would never class that as an actual tank, because it's a hover, it's a hover troop carrier. Mm -hmm. Although, I might be wrong, there might actually be a version that is a tank off the top of my head, but I'm no, I can't remember, I might, I, I might have actually seen that, so uh, forget what I just said, um, it's, it's a tank. Um, so this is the Dune Crawler, and it is a um, relatively decent vehicle, um, it's got 11 wounds, That's so impressive. it's as good as a, like a Rhino or something like that, yeah. or Razorback. Yeah, which we've been using. Yeah, so, so it's, it's on a par with a Razorback. Its weapon is slightly more interesting. It carries a beamer. What's that? In the original 40k, there was a thing called the conversion beamer. Right. It was great. I'm going back to the 19, early 1990s now. Right. So, um, but it, it was held to use because it, it built up power each turn. Oh. Um, this is basically a modern version of that. Mm -hmm. And it is brilliant. It's 36 inch range. Mm -hmm. Fire six rounds. Yeah. Um, strength of eight, minus two to your armor save, D3 damage each. What does D3 damage mean? Just three, uh, D3 damage. You roll a D3, a D3, so a one, two, or three. Right. And you roll six of them. Right. And that's how much damage it does. <coughs> so it does a huge, it can do a huge amount of damage. That's cool. A bit like the conversion beamer. You could end up with it doing one damage. Or you can end up with it doing 20 damage, Blimey. which would be awesome. But yeah. the, the conversion beams are hard to use in game. Yeah. They, they've simplified it a lot with, in 8th edition. And also it's minus 2 arm, uh, arm penetration, mm -hmm. because that's great for taking out anything that isn't a space marine. Yep. Um, pretty much any, uh, most things have an arm save of 5. Yep. Um, I think orcs might have arm save all of 4. Mm -hmm. But I've not seen it. I've done orcs in eighth edition, so I don't know what the new orcs look like. I know what they look like. I don't know what they play like. Um, so it's a pretty good weapon. But and here's the interesting thing: if you're within twelve inches, mm. it does d6 damage. Mm. That's a lot. Yes, that is six d6 damage, which is thirty-six damage in one shot. Boy. So it's 32, 36. Mm -hmm. 36 damage in one shot. 36 damage will take down... Actually, that would take down a Thunderhawk, wouldn't it? How many rounds? Yeah, they have 30 um, runes. Yep, it would take a Thunderhawk down in one shot with oh, this. Goodness. It's a good job we're not playing with them now, because my Thunderhawk would be gone. Yes, it would be. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it, it's an amazing weapon. However, you could roll all ones, right? And end Which up would be pretty bad. and end up just yeah. So, <laughs> but it does. It, that it, sounds like the sort of thing that would happen to me. The way you were playing in the last game, yeah. Yeah, and then and then I stood up and my dice were just much better. Yeah, so you stand up during yeah. games. How's your knee? Really bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you don't. Uh, for those of you not following the campaign, we have mentioned the knee problem before. Um, right, so uh, it it's. Great at 36 inch range, within 12 inches it will be utterly devastating. It'll right. do massive damage. You take yeah. entire units out with one shot. 
Goodness. Um, a, a, a squad of ten marines will just go down in one shot with this thing. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, then we get on. To, oh, it's also got a heavy stubber on the roof. Mm-hmm. Just, just feel free to laugh at it. It's, mm-hmm. it's pointless. Um, right. Then, then we have. Uh, it has a force field which is a, has an invulnerable save of five plus. Right. Uh, and if you roll a one, you re-roll. Mm-hmm. So you, you get a second roll if you fail, which is quite good. Now the armor on this is three plus, which makes it pretty decent, um, but it can take a lot of damage because it's only toughness of seven. It can take a lot of damage from heavy weapons being used on it. Right. That's where your armor save, but that's where your field, uh, the Amatus field comes in, because that gives you an automatic five plus save. Yeah. So if you hit with a battle cannon, which minuses three from your save, that means you won't have much save. Yeah. So instead you use, use the force shield. It's also got a de- data tether, um, which will plus one to leadership of any troops close by. Right. Right, because you're syncing with their, yeah. their community. I'll go into that in the videos with the other infantry, how the data tethers work. Um, it's a crawler, so it may only, ad- uh, may only advance three inches, but ignores the minus one penalty for moving. Um, so that's, do you know when you do advanced moves? You move six inches. Yeah. Um, you move, have to move three because it's walking. Right. So it's it's it's, it's not it's not too bad. Um, if it explodes, it does D three mortal wounds, which right. is we've had that before. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it has canticles of the Omnisire. Again, we'll go into canticles of the Omnisire mm-hmm. with with um, with the tech priest video. I think would be the best yeah. one to do with that. Um, but all tech stuff has canticles of the Omnisire. Right. It's a special ability they have. Um, so any questions? The marine at the bottom. The marine at the bottom? Yes. He is an unhallowed. Right. He is one of my space marine legion. Not my space marine legion? No. No, they're not mine. They were stolen from me. By who? Who do you think? Oh. Because she wants to play Slanesh and given right. that they're a Slanesh army she wanted them so I don't Fair have. Enough. So uh, I'm now doing Nurgle. Um, Nurgle's pretty cool. Right? Yeah, so I'm going... Apart from my great and clean one that just decided he was going to kill himself and hurt yes, himself. Yes, he did, he did, yes. And like, poke himself in the eye and... He did, he did that too. Yeah, yeah. he's a silly great and clean one. Yeah. Like, great and clean one. Um, but yeah, um, the, so he's a warrior of Slanesh. He's a noise marine of Slanesh. Um, right. That's the army I was building, but then she decided she wanted it. So she took it off me because she likes, um, she likes the demon Yeah, That's kind of what I'm doing with the... The trusty psychic. Yes. That's usually here. I've kind of taken his call. Yes. Humans. So <laughs> he no longer has a chaos army to play. No, it's kind no. of mine now. <laughs> so we're going to have to get the other chaos army, which we haven't got, which is Zinch, and I know he won't play Zinch because he hates it. Yeah. Um, I don't mind playing Zinch myself, but yeah. that they're, they're, they're not as much. They're going. I'll leave him to his corn army then and steal that one. Yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah, they're all psychers. Yeah, it's an army of psychers, mm. which is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, it sounds impressive. Um, but they don't use tanks and stuff. Really. Then again, with me playing, I'll just roll ones and things, and probably won't be as impressive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but they're, they're an interesting army. Um, we haven't got any of them at the moment. We are planning on getting some in the future, but at the moment we appear like we have we have the international gift of Nurgle going on. Which has made it quite hard to do anything other than game, to be honest. Mm-hmm. We've, so that's why you're here. Um, so we just sat gaming all the time with nothing yeah. else to do. Because... Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh well. Hey, we've got more 40k out of it, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. And we get to try out new armies and stuff. Yeah, before I was here, I didn't really know what 40k was. Never heard of it. So it's interesting. Yeah. It, it, uh, you seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's just a lot to take in. Yeah. All at once. And you're learning the law bit by bit, which yeah. is hence why you're sat here. Yes. Because you were, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think that's all we've got to say about it, really. And uh, yeah. time is moving on, so yeah. we will leave you to it. It's nearly nearly a ten minute video. Yeah. On a dune crawler. Yeah. It's just a walking tank. There's not yeah. much to say about it. No. Uh, so, yeah. So that's it. Uh, conversion beamers are amazing. Yeah. That's it. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Um, so leave a like in the like section, you know, like button. Yeah, yeah that's like it. Button. <laughs> um, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. 
And what else do you do? Press the notification bell. That's it. Do what she says. And, and it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. Goodbye.